All right, before we dig into the process of doing keyword research for this new website, I just should clarify that this keyword research can be done before you build a new website or after you've got a website that's built and you already know what the pages are. Um, the benefit of doing the keyword research before you start a new site is that you um, have an opportunity to discover new keyword themes that will drive the creation of new pages to target those keyword themes. But in this case here, what we're doing is we're going to do keyword research for this new website that I'm launching called My Handbags. And the purpose of the keyword research is to allow us to create um, a collection or a theme selection of keywords for each of the primary pages or product categories on the website. Now when you look at any website there are typically two primary tiers of pages that you want to do the research for. Typically the home page and the home page should target those keywords that have the highest amount of volume that is relevant to your market and the next level is typically the uh, product categories or in service businesses, the service pages. So um, the tool I'm going to use uh, to do this keyword research is Market Samurai. And there's a reason why um, I use Market Samurai. It has an awesome ability to help you filter and select and sort the keywords that I generated. So what I'm going to do now is just open up Market Samurai and I'm going to commence the process. So Samurai has a setup. Uh, section where you put in the project settings and I'm going to select in this case the Australian market because this website is targeting the Australian market. So the way I do keyword research using Market Samurai is a three-step process. The first step is to generate a list of keywords. The second step is to sort them into relevant themes and then the third step is to select the keywords that you want to uh, use or target each page. So in this case here I'm creating key uh, keywords for a handbag site. In this case I select new keyword. I put in the seed keyword which is the keyword that I think is most relevant. So in this case handbags and I simply select the keyword research button and in this case you click the generate button. Now what Market Samurai does now is it goes and interrogates the Google AdWords keyword tool and it comes back with a full list of semantically related keywords based on the seed keyword that I provided. Now Market Samurai has generated a list of related keywords using the seed keyword handbags. So in this case now I'm simply going to click the keyword analysis button and uh, Market Samurai provides me with a whole range of ways of filtering the data. In this case, um, I don't need all of these other metrics. They're there to allow you to filter and sort. Um, I'm primarily looking for keywords with high relevance. Uh, and there are a couple of metrics that I want to want to keep here. The number of searches, the phrase to broad match metric. And this is just a metric that helps you ensure that the keyword phrase that you choose is the right word order. And then I've got some trends data here as well. So you'll see the selections I've got here are local searches and you can actually filter them down, but I just leave that selected. I leave a phrase to broad match uh, number of 10, I like a minimum of 10 and I leave the trends data here. So as I've sorted from highest to lowest, you can see that I've got all the different variations of keywords or semantic related keywords for handbags and I can see there are some brand searches, there's keywords like purse, um, some other brands, handbags online. So what I want to do is I want to simply filter this list to a list of keywords that includes the word handbags. Um, that way I'm not looking at all the potential differences and thinking, oh, uh, is this a purse, is this a shoulder bag or whatnot. I just want to see handbags. So in this case here, all I do is I select the keyword handbags just by clicking on it and come over here and if I tick this positive tick, it creates what's called a positive filter. And now what you'll see is I have a keyword list of keywords that all have the phrase handbags in them, sorted by search volumes and their phrase to broad match. So I've got an opportunity now to see which keyword has the highest volume and which has the lowest volume. So what I like to do at this stage is that now that I've generated the seed keyword list for handbags, I click the export button and I save it on the desktop. And what I like to do is Get that handbags. I like to create a simple spreadsheet, keep my data together. I put the seed keyword list at the top. And just to sort it all out like this. And so I delete everything 
that's exported except for the following data. So obviously I have a column for keywords and then Market Summary also gives me the broad, the phrase and the exact match search volumes for each of these keywords. So at this point I'm not going to think about it, I've just generated a seed keyword list and I'll come back to analyse the keywords later. So I'll just save this on my desktop as keyword research, I'll save that as an Excel spreadsheet. The reason I'm saving it in this format is that at the end of this process I'll have a list of keywords separated by tab, by theme that I can provide uh, to an SEO consultant or a web developer or for my own team to actually write the on-page optimization, so the page titles and meta descriptions. So now let's say if I just go back to Market Samurai and I'm going to pursue the keyword phrase totes because I know totes are a small popular handbag that we carry in stock. I simply generate the list of keywords again and we'll wait for Market Samurai to interrogate the Google AdWords keyword tool and pull that data together. So I'll just click pause for the moment. Samurai has come back with a list of keywords related to totes. What I'll do now is click the analyze button, sort by highest to lowest from search volume. And in this case here, what I want to do is to do a positive filter on all of the phrases that include the word tote or totes. So in this case it looks like tote itself is the most popular use of the word. So I'm going to tick tote and tick this little positive tick over here. And so now you'll see that only the keywords that include the word tote in them are listed. And in this case it's a short list but you can see that there's a really high search volume around tote. So what I do now is I simply export that again and I will go and add that to my master spreadsheet just to capture all of the data in a single spreadsheet. Um, over on totes. And I think it's really important to remember that I don't do any analysis at this point. I'm simply collating, sorting, filtering, and putting the data together in a manner that's going to make it easy for me to analyze because you can really get caught up with following a rabbit down a hole here because you'll see keywords that you think are great opportunities. Um, so now you'll see I've got totes on one page and handbags on another and I could do the same again for shoulder bags. If I went back to the e-commerce site you'll see I've got an opportunity to do it for backpacks, clutches, perches. Each of these category themes is an opportunity to go and create a new list of keywords. But let's just say we'll stick with handbags and totes for the moment. So looking at the handbags analysis, if you were to drill down in, in detail, a key thing to understand here is the difference between broad, phrase and exact. The broad match search volume is the number of searches that are out there that include the word handbags. Um, it's uh, really over the top. The number is not really indicative of the exact number of searches for handbags. If you want that number, you look down here on the exact match number and that's saying that there are 8100 searches a month using the keyword handbags and handbags alone. If you step over to the phrase match version that means that there are 135,000 searches a month in Australia that include the word handbags as part of the phrase. So you can get a real sense of which keywords and which variations have the highest volume and you can see here that the exact match volumes are quite good. So what I might do is simply select just by color coding uh, a couple handbags, handbags online is a good opportunity, leather handbags, designer handbags. So I, I might say those four or five keyword phrases are the ideal keywords to target for my home page or my handbags page and I can very easily go and write a page title that would target all of these different variations and so that my page would have an opportunity to rank for handbags, handbags online, leather handbags or designer handbags. In the example of the totes, if I looked at the totes, I know tote is, has actually 2400 exact match search searches a month so that's a good keyword phrase. So I click that, um, I would suggest tote bag is a good one as well, as well as uh, tote bags plural so you can click that there and so and leather tote is a very specific keyword phrase as well the only issue is it's only 140 exact match searches a month but in this case you could create a page title that targeted tote 
tote bag and possibly the, the plural variation as well. And it's this generation of this, this spreadsheet, this um, list of keywords, um, that is the goal of this whole exercise because now that, now that I've got this spreadsheet, I could refer to it at a later date um, and I can simply hand it over to someone else and they can look at this and know that every keyword on this page is about handbags. Every keyword on this page is about totes. Um, and if you didn't filter the keywords like this, um, you'd waste time uh, having to look at each individual keyword to see whether it was relevant, it was on topic or on theme. And that's it. That's my process um, of using Market Samurai to do keyword research for a new or existing website. And the reason I use Market Samurai is because it has this wonderful ability to select a word and use a positive filter to remove all non-related keyword phrases. It's a huge time saver and I really recommend that if you're doing any keyword research at all on your site, you get a copy of this tool. Um, it will just save you so much time and make you much more productive. Um, if you've got any more questions about this video or the, the associated blog post, please post them below and I'll do my best to answer them.